Bismillahi wa la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah brothers and sisters may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with you all this time around i want us to blow halam to parents who are declining for the men who came to confess their love towards their daughters the prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he actually told us for qualities we must always be watchful if we see these qualities in any man we should accept and they willingly give our hand into marriage with our daughter to the man the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he mentioned four quality common to every believer firstly tunkahu al-mar'a li dinha wa jamalha wa li hasabiha wa li malha women are married for their wealth good family their beauty and the lastly uh, the, the, their deen so the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam pointed at something that is very important one of these four qualities supersedes the remaining three which is lidinaha adin so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said idha ja'akum man tardawna dinahu wa khulquhu fazawwijuhu illa taf'alu takum fitna wa fasadun arid the prophet said if anyone comes to you i to, 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 if anyone comes to ask for your daughter in marriage and you are pleased by his religion you are pleased by his faith you are pleased by his creed and his character then for the we do who you make sure you support them you accept uh, both of them you blessed their, their matrimony so this is the teaching of the kitab and sunnah bait we have noticed that a lot of parents today we are not after this quality the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam made as point subhanallah may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save guide every one of us today parents are only after money when daughter comes home with a man and says father or mother this is the person i'm planning to get married to subhanallah they say mashallah oh daughter let's see so they had a closed door meeting in this meeting parents have nothing telling their daughters then what work is he doing what is his profession what is his status what is his level subhanallah this is not what islam teaches we are to be after something that supersedes the remaining three we are usually after some parents even question their daughter that he is from which family so he is, he is of the descendant of Dangote. Uh, you know, Dangote is uh, someone Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed so much in Nigeria here. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be with him more. Subhanallah. This is not what Islam requires from every one of us. What it requires is the belief. And it is evident in the saying of one of our Muslim scholars who pointed that you see deen a deen which is the faith and the character he said that is one point if the man or the woman possesses wealth is zero we have to score it zero if he has good family we should score it zero if he is if she is beautiful or he is beautiful we should as well score it zero subhanallah Subhanallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be with every one of us parents. Let's make sure we are usually and the only after the deen and khuluq. Because whatever that is faithful in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, definitely every other quality, inshallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will guide him right and our daughter is going to have a peaceful matrimony with him. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard us all. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu.